Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, my name is Rich. I am the owner of the Flash DSM. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a 99 Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX and I built this car from the ground up. Uh, I basically have done everything to it except build the actual engine itself. I had a uh, S&K Speed out in the universe do that for me. But in this video, I'm just gonna kinda go over exactly what I've been working on as far as the past two months and updating you guys to what I've been doing to it. Um, if you guys subscribe, watch this video, like it, that way I know I should be putting more of these videos out there and kind of starting, you know, maybe doing a lot more stuff with my car as far as any type of wiring, any type of mechanical or custom fabricating work uh, that I've been doing to this car. I am working out of my storage unit, but this is kind of what I got. So I built this thing in this storage unit. Uh, I'm hoping to make 900 to 1,000 horsepower with it. It will have nitrous. It's an automatic four-wheel drive. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to leave it to it and just, uh, you know, enjoy the video. Any comments, leave down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is the Flash DSM update video. So I'm just going to go over pretty quick front to back um, and then I will start the car at the end of the video just so you guys can hear it and see all the gauges and everything and how everything works on the inside and buttoning everything up under the hood kind of finalizing everything so i got all my heat wrap and my heat tubing on the um, on my exhaust on the upper lower radiator hose which i did custom make got some heat shielding on the oil feed line for the turbo uh, i still have to get a turbo blanket just to make sure the engine bay temperature stay down got basically all the piping done for the intercooler so uh, got all that done all the way up to the turbo, which is right there. That is all done. So we got one coupler, two coupler, and three coupler uh, for the setup. Eventually, I'm going to take this out and do a V-band. I've been working really hard on doing the engine wiring as well. So these are just some extra wires because I just got a shift box. So this, these are no longer needed, so I'm going to take them out of the harness. But as you can see... I mean, this is pretty much the harness for the engine. There's nothing to it, but I've been working really hard on doing the harness for the car. Uh, all the fuel injectors, I uh, got my alternator in there with the J Racing alternator relocation kit. Uh, basically, engine bay is probably about 99% done, almost ready. So this is what I've really been working on is all the wiring. But uh, I still got a few things to button up. So this is a fuse relay panel that I actually made uh, specifically for this car. Which I do have to finish up wiring up the back. The two metal wires are my power wires for the vehicle. Uh, I've also been kind of painting the floor. Haven't really finished back here yet, but kind of slowly working my way up from the front to the back. Again, this is only a quick update video. Once the car is actually done, I'll make a really good video on it. This is the switch panel. So as you can see, each switch, I kind of just taped on a, a label for it, nothing special, just so you know what everything is. I actually just mounted this tonight. This is my OBD plug, so I can plug in tuning software, All right? I am gonna be probably going with some type of digital display down the road, but this is kind of what's affordable for right now. So I got my TAC, my wideband, which is the middle guy, and then I have my oil pressure. And then this right here is for the shifter, so I know what gear I'm in. This is my main cut for the power to the car. This is a shifter from a third generation Eclipse, which has park, neutral, drive. And then you flip it over and it's up and down or up and down a gear for the shift box, which I'm using a Smart 100.1. So I can manually shift the vehicle and have it also in automatic mode as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip on the ignition here. So basically this, ignition on. This is my check engine light. All right, then we have my volt gauge. Electronic vacuum pump for the brakes. On off for my gauges. All right on off. Uh, this is the priming pump to prime my mechanical pump. 
radiator fans, uh, headlights, and the wipers I have not yet hooked up. All right, so real quick, I'll just kind of show you how the shifter works. So green light, right there, there's a green light. That means it's in automatic mode with obviously first gear. So it's pretty simple, shift it back. There you go, you're in drive. Uh, it doesn't say reverse or drive or anything like that on the display, just one, two, three, four, just let you know what gear you're in. Automatic manual mode. So now we're in manual mode, just like that. And then you pull back, it goes from one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. And the second you hear that click, that's when the next gear occurs. So basically for starting the vehicle, we're gonna go ahead and prime it. All right, it doesn't really take that long to prime. And that noise that you hear, Sounds like Jurassic Park. That's actually uh, just a fuel running through that really big fuel pressure regulator. All right, so it's primed. We're gonna go ahead and push the button. And that's how you shut the car off. I can go ahead and pop this and now there's absolutely no power running uh, beyond that point. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. So make sure you subscribe and you know, once this car is done, uh, I'm gonna be bringing it to the track. I'm hoping to make 900 to 1000 horsepower. So obviously once I'm at the dyno, I will be recording that and everything, but show some love. Uh, you guys, you know, if I get more subscribers and more views on the videos, I will do more videos on this car. Basically, anything that I do to this vehicle, I will videotape and I will put up on uh, YouTube.